Hello, this is Pastor Dennis Cho from Stream of Praise. Welcome to SOP Devotion. Today I'll be sharing with you from Psalms chapter 40. It says, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and merle. He set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand on. You know, here in Southern California, we've been under a quarantine to stay at home um, and not to go out as much as possible. Um, and yesterday was the first time I was actually out to go to a grocery store to get some food for the family because we we're running low on supplies at home. And it was quite an experience because in the past when I went to grocery stores, it was uh, usually very, very pleasant and very happy. You hear soothing and uh, very pleasant music in the background and you see people just taking their time uh, shopping and uh, enjoying their uh, their shopping time at the grocery store but yesterday was completely different i saw people rushing in with their to-do list and they just moved from aisle to aisle aisle just grabbing stuff from the shelves and quickly going to the checkout counter and uh, basically just trying to get out of the store as soon as possible I mean, the whole experience to me seemed very surreal and very different and even kind of scary. It felt this, uh, it felt very different. Uh, all of a sudden, I think for a lot of us, the, the, the world that we live in has been turned upside down and um, it feels very different from the world that we've been so accustomed to. So what can we do during this difficult time? You know, life is never a, uh, just a straight road all the time. Um, it has its up and downs and highs and lows. And I guess we are in a season of, um, of greater difficulty and, and challenges. And for many of us, um, it is something that, uh, that we're facing that is not easy for a lot of us. It may be your job. Many people are losing their jobs. It may be their finances. Um, they're kind of unsure of how their finances is going to pan out. They're worried about their health. They're worried about their family, their kids. Uh, just many things all of a sudden become so real and so in the face uh, for a lot of us. So what can we do to face challenges during this difficult time? You know, this psalm that we read today reminds us of a fruit of the Spirit that can come in really handy during this difficult time. And that is patience. That is patience. You know, David says, uh, I waited patiently for the Lord. He was facing a very difficult time and very difficult season in his life. But instead of griping and complaining, he came before the Lord in prayer. And he said, I waited patiently for the Lord to answer my prayer, to answer my prayer. And I think this is something that we need to remind ourselves that during this season, we also need to come patiently and come before the Lord and wait patiently for him, for him to come to help us. You know, what does the Bible tell us about being patient? You know, in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 32, it says, better a patient person than a warrior, one with self-control than one who takes a city. You know, we often celebrate and admire people who are mighty and strong and fast and smart. Um, but the Bible says that one who is patient is actually greater than all these. And isn't that surprising? You know, God esteems those with patience. In Romans chapter 12, verse 12, it says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. You know, in patience. We're called to be joyful in hope and faithful in prayer. You know, what happens when we patiently pray and ask God for his answer and ask God for his help? You know, the Psalm says, David continued to say that the Lord turned to him and heard his prayer and answered his prayer. You know, it says Turning, turning is like inclining. It's like bending over. It's like God bending over and inclining over you to answer your prayer and to hear your prayer and to draw close to you during this time. You know, for a lot of us who are going through difficulty during this season, 
You know, you may feel that God is so far away. It's like, where is God in all this? All of a sudden, as if God has disappeared from my life. Where is God in all this? But I want to encourage you in this psalm, in this short, short verses, to come before the Lord and to say, God, God, I'm facing this difficulty. Would you come and help me? Would you listen to my prayer? Would you come draw close to me? And the verse that we just read encourages us and reminds us that when we come patiently before the Lord to wait on him, that the Lord will bend over, will incline over us, and he will draw close to us. You know, what the Psalm 34 verse 18 says, it says that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Perhaps you are brokenhearted today because of something that may ha have happened or crushed in spirit. The Lord says that he is close to you. He is close to you. He's inclining over you. He is drawing close to you. He is here to help you. You know, today you may be facing uh, challenges of, of many kinds, job, whatever it may be. But I just want to encourage you by this short sharing that to come before the Lord, when you don't feel like being patient, when you feel like you're just going crazy, I encourage you, would you come right now before the Lord and just close your eyes and take a deep breath and say, God, God, I have this need. And you can bring your need. You can bring your prayer to the Lord right now and say, God, this is my prayer. And would you help me to wait patiently for you to come and help me? And I believe that if you will wait patiently for the Lord, you will see the Lord drawing close to you. You will see the Lord inclining over you and coming to help you and to coming to help and listen to your prayer and to answer your prayer. You know, the Lord is good all the time. And even in a time like this, that is definitely not good. The Lord is still good. He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is still good to those who call on Him. He still loves us. He still wants to cuddle us. He still wants to hold us. And I encourage you during this time to come and wait patiently for the Lord and say, God, help me to be patient. How can we do this? Maybe from you can start practicing it from home. You know, as a lot of us with kids, it's like, ah, oh, we're being driven crazy by all these things that's happening in our home. But hey, would you take some time out today when you want to blow your top, when you feel like you can't take it no more, would you come before the Lord and say, God, this is my prayer. I wait patiently for you. Please come to help me. Or you may be at your job. Your job is, is in a situation that is not good. Would you take some time off your job today and just close your eyes and say, God, would you help me with my job, with the challenges in my job, with my relationships, or with my help? God, would you help me? Would you hear my prayer? Would you set my feet upon a rock? Would you help me to stand on a secure and a high place? Would you help me, please? And I believe the Lord will hear your prayer. Amen. Amen. And today, before we end, I just want to especially uh, take some time to pray for those who are sick. So if you are sick today, if you are feeling unwell today, would you just uh, open your arms Open your hands and receive this prayer and wait patiently for the Lord to come and heal you. I believe the Lord is going to touch you. Would you join me in prayer? Dear God, we come before you in our weakness. We say, Lord, we cannot do it. But Lord, you are strong. And we wait patiently for you to hear our prayer. We believe that you are good in this, even in this bad time and that you remain faithful. Would you come and heal our bodies? Would you come and heal our emotions? Would you restore our strength? Would you be here for us? We wait patiently for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all, and see you next time.